In this video of the first month series, we have Marjorie with us. She's a developer. And so if you're very interested in knowing what's the first month like for a technical person in Turina, let's have a look. I would like to start by asking you, what convinced you to join Turbina, to be a Turbini, as we call it? It was mostly the company culture and also the possibility to work with different and up-to-date technology. Can I ask you what did you like exactly about our company culture? Um, I think it was very visible how much the company cares for the work and life balance of their employees. That's a very good insight, uh, because it's actually something that we're very keen on. We always try to look for the work-life balance of our employees, so it's good to know that it's recognizable in the interview process. I would like to start by asking you to describe the functions to us. So what have you been doing in Turbina so far? So I'm a software developer. So far, I'm still in the onboarding process, but my main role is to find solutions for problems or requirements of our clients um, with a more technical approach. Okay, very good. Do you want to share some details or some exciting things that you have been done so far? We know that you're onboarding, but probably there's a moment or two where you thought that something was new or exciting. I can talk a little about this bracket training that I think it's very well directed um, and I'm pretty excited to learn it. And so, Given that, I would like to ask you what do you think it's the most exciting thing that you have done so far? Um, did you ever learn something new, for example? And if you did, what is it? Or what are you looking to do in the future? Okay, so I've learned quite a lot of things so far, new things, um, mostly related to development, which is my area. Um, but I am excited to be in a client project and learn more about that also. And as you mentioned before, something that helped you to decide to join Turbina was the company culture. In these first 30 days, have you seen something that you didn't know or you didn't catch on the interviews that surprised you positively? To be honest, I think the company's online presence, it's very accurate to the reality, which is quite surprising. So, I didn't have much surprises, but it was good to see that it's actually all true. <laughs> you mentioned that you visited Faro already. So how was your experience going down to the Algarve? Um, it was my first time on Algarve, which is very nice. Um, I stayed at the company's flat, very nice flat. Um, everybody was very welcoming and the office is also pretty cool. You have everything you need there. Marjorie, uh, something curious uh, about your professional path with us is that you started working remotely from the beginning. You actually visited the office in Faro already, but the majority of the work has been done in a remote setting. So is there any particular challenges, uh, any particular advantages that you would like to share with us? I don't think there's been any challenges. You might have a different time zone from other colleagues in your team, but that's not really a problem. I mean, I prefer to work remotely. I like the idea that we have an office and I can go there when I want and meet the colleagues, but I think it's good because I can arrange myself and organize myself better. If you had to describe Turbina in one word, what would it be? If I had to describe in one word, I think it would be surprising. Okay, there it is. Uh, <laughs> Marjorie, thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure having you with us uh, in these 30 days and in this talk. And we hope that these 30 days can turn into many more. Thank you very much. Thank you.